we go. In three, two, one. The movie of the summer, ah heck, the year Top Gun Maverick has hit theaters, and the fans are slayed with all the action, thrills, and shirtless men. Hello, shimmying Miles Teller. Here's a look at some behind the scenes fun from Top Gun 2, Maverick. That's what Top Gun's been doing for years, making grown men cry. <laughs> Number one, if you were a fan gripping your seat, watching the cast fly high in their jets, and wondering how they make that look so real, well, we've got some new for you, the cast was really flying. After months of training like actual men and women in the Navy, when it came to the stunts on planes, the actors were dropped from cestas and free-floated in the air. Good thing the training dealt with overcoming the nausea of G-Force. During flight training, they would be embarrassed about puking. In fact, while Tom Cruise loved flying, he even used his own plane in one scene. Miles Teller tells a different story of, sure, it was fun, but also terrifying. Good thing Miles has his mustache to keep him safe. Number two. While the training the actors had to go through was grueling, and grueling is an understatement, what most people do not realize is if you fly in a plane, you have to know how to swim in the sea. The purpose of the training is in the event that there were an over-the-water emergency. The military makes sure that you understand that if things aren't going well in the sky, one will have to be ejected from the plane and you will most likely land underwater. Therefore, the actors were thrown into pools of water and twisted and flipped every which way you could possibly be thrown into a tub of water. We bet when these actors thought about method acting, they never realized waterboarding would be the method used. Number three, while there are many a rumor spreading about Top Gun 2 Maverick, mostly that it's awesome, one rumor that has gone through the broken telephone wires is that there was zero use of CGI in the movie. While the plane flying is totally real, the explosions, eh, not so much. Anything to do with bombs exploding or guns going off were, in fact, CGI. Due to safety factors and why any decision in movie making is made, money, it made more logistical sense to CGI up the missiles. But fans of practical effects take solace that Tom Cruise's hair, all real, baby. Number four, most film buffs know that Tom Cruise loves, and we assume demands, to do his own stunts. But he took his stunt performing up a notch on Top Gun 2, Maverick when he designed an all-encompassing aviation training for his fellow actors, allowing Tom to teach in a case of helping him helping you. Jerry Maguire, anyone? Help me help you. Not only allowing the actors to learn, but made them admire Tom in a whole new light, showing them not only how to fly, but how to withstand the G-force that comes with the fallout of high-impact jet flying. We don't think it matters what kind of student you were. If Tom Cruise is your teacher, attendance would be perfect. Number five. Even if you haven't seen the first Top Gun, odds are you know the volleyball scene. Let's go! The scene that launched a thousand libidos and made you definitively realize if you liked boys is a camp classic and cannot be touched. That being said, until you see the beach football scene in Top Gun 2, Maverick. Sure, it can't beat the original, Val Kilmer, hubba hubba, but withhold your comments until you see a shimmying Miles Teller shirtless and smirking, and then tell me which scene is the fairest in all the land. However, get ready to feel bummed about your body, because all those shirtless beauties filmed that scene once, and then were given the note to reshoot it because, to quote Tom Cruise, the bodies weren't doing it for him the first time around. So the boys went back to the gym for two weeks and beefed up. Number six. Top Gun 2 Maverick is so technology forward that even Val Kilmer's speaking voice has benefited from the advancement of technology. Tragically, in 2015, actor Val Kilmer was diagnosed with throat cancer. After several life-saving procedures, Kilmer's voice has sadly been reduced to a rasp. However, fans and Tom Cruise alike needed the Iceman to come back to the danger zone. The sequel just wouldn't be the same without Kilmer. So, through AI technology and the AI company Sonantic, they were able to use snippets of audio from other Val Kilmer movies and create the talking voice heard in Top Gun 2. Well, now I can express myself again. I can bring these dreams to you. 
an emotional and touching scene, this step in technology could mean so much for actors who may have lost their voice due to illness. There's something wrong. No. Number seven. This movie was years in the making. Every decision-making moment was a thought-out, brainstorming session between director Joseph Kaczynski, Tom Cruise, and Jerry Bruckheimer. When deciding who would get the role of Goose's son, Rooster, Goose, played by ER alum Anthony Edwards, Tom Cruise and Jerry Bruckheimer were Team Glenn Powell. With classic Hollywood looks and old-time Hollywood charm, a casting decision making Powell the star seems like a no-brainer. However, director Joseph Kaczynski held out hope for his number one draft pick of Miles Teller. Teller was an established actor and independent movie darling, and definitely the underdog pick to lead a blockbuster franchise. However, when Teller came in to read for the part, the chemistry between Cruz and Teller was undeniable. Throw in the fact that director Kaczynski photoshopped a mustache onto Teller's face to seal the deal. Number 8. Sure, we've repeated it more times than necessary, but darn it if it ain't impressive that Top Gun uses mostly practical effects. However, the reasoning for having actual Air Force jets flying through the skies as opposed to CGI is a little bit very political. The Department of Defense Entertainment Media Office loaned out the planes to the crew of Top Gun in order to allow them to use real planes and not go out of pocket. Now, this isn't the first time the military has been a part of blockbuster movies. In fact, the Department of Defense Entertainment Media Office was created in the 80s upon the making of the Academy Award Best Picture winning movie, Wings. Number 9. We all know and love the original beach volleyball scene in Top Gun, and we now all simp for the beach football scene of Top Gun 2 Maverick. However, these scenes, according to Tom Cruise, aren't just in the movies for the audience to giggle and wiggle at. Tom Cruise claims there is a deep, important narrative behind showing these scenes. Tom stated, First of all, it shows that to fighter pilots, physical prowess is very important. Plus, the scene shows the constant competition between these guys how they compete on every level. Number 10. Top Gun Maverick is a story about family and sons. And while the touching tale tells the story of Anthony Edwards and Miles Teller as father-son, there actually was another actor in the cast with a famous papa. Lewis Pullman, Bob in Maverick, is actually the son of actor Bill Pullman. Bill Pullman, known for such movies as While You Were Sleeping and Independence Day, also has flown a jet in a movie. As the president in Independence Day, Bill Pullman's character flew an F-A-18 Hornet. Well, his stunt double did. But unlike father, son actually flew the F-A-18, improving on the sins of the father, so to speak. Number 11. In the world of movies, actors sometimes have the ability to influence the writing and vice versa. For actor Miles Teller, he was given the honor to create his character's nickname, or call sign, of Rooster. It made both literal sense that his character would go by Rooster, since it's a bird and birds fly, and that it has ties to the first movie, where Teller's character is the son of the fan favorite Goose. Wait a second, this is actually kind of cool. Number 12. The original Top Gun was directed by the prolific and genius Tony Scott. Known for such movies as the original Top Gun, True Romance, and Man on Fire, Tony Scott was the obvious choice to direct Maverick. However, after Scott's untimely death in 2010, the movie that had been under development with Tom Cruise and Jerry Bruckheimer was put on hold for five years, causing a snag in a movie that was already proving difficult to lift off the ground. Then, if you count the delay of the pandemic, it's a miracle audiences are currently sitting in theaters enjoying all that Top Gun 2 has to offer. This day is for you, and I just can't wait for you to see it. Number 13. While most actors in Hollywood would kill to be in a blockbuster movie, let alone a movie with a built-in fan base and legacy, some actors actually turned down a chance to be in Top Gun 2 Maverick. Stranger Things actor Matthew Modine said, uh, thanks but no thanks for the chance to play a role in the Tom Cruise action-packed plane movie, claiming he didn't agree with the movie's politics. Number 14. Top Gun 2 Maverick was the most hotly anticipated movie of the year. 
and dare we say, years. After announcing that it would be released in 2019, marking 33 years since the original film took off, the movie had to be bumped due to the practical effects taking their time to make everything look, um, freaking amazing. And while that hold on releasing the film was expected to push it into 2020, something called a global pandemic upended everyone and everything. Suddenly made releasing Top Gun 2 a take your breath away challenge. However, finally, after almost three years of lockdowns, vaccines, and masks, the sequel was ready for liftoff. Here's hoping the next movie, the franchise takes less time than 36 years to hit theaters. Number 15. The original concept for the original Top Gun happened to be inspired by a magazine article. Reported by California Magazine in 1983 by Ayud Yunai, the article followed the day-to-day -day lives of fighter pilots at Naval Air Station Miramar in San Diego. And just like the movie, this article shouted out fun callsign nicknames as well. In the original movie, callsigns like Maverick, Merlin, and Iceman were used in the film, where Whereas in the article, the pilots and commanders had nicknames such as Yogi, Gringo, Gator, and Possum. We're assuming after watching this video, you're either mid-cold shower or already buying tickets to see Top Gun 2 Maverick. Again, which behind-the-scenes moment took your breath away? Like, comment, and subscribe to The Things for all things Miles Teller's mustache and more.